I asked the smartest and most successful agency owners I know just one question. If they could share just one tip with you about growing this business, what would it be and why? And some of the people in this video, by the way, are doing over $50 million per year in their businesses. We have more than one person in this compilation. So what I want you guys to do is watch this thing all the way through to the end, take lots of notes, and then find at least one or two ideas that you can implement in your own business that are working really, really well for other people. So I'm excited to share with you this with you, and it's gonna be epic. Hey, this is Josh Nelson with Plumbing and HVAC SEO, and I'd say one thing that's really helped us get things to the next level is, is taking a multi-channel marketing approach, both for our agency as well as our clients. Uh, multi-channel meaning not just SEO, or not just pay-per-click, not just you know cold outreach, but really thinking about how we can show up on social, how we can create inbound marketing, how we can position ourselves as the go-to experts and get clients to come to us pre-positioned to buy, and then simultaneously, how do we go to our clients and deliver a suite of services that actually generate the outcomes, right? And, and sometimes, sometimes the SEO has a huge impact, but other times it's the paid ads or the database reactivation. But the combination of a multi-channel approach works best to get the results for us and has helped us really improve our client retention. Hey, my name's Dennis Yu. I run several digital marketing agencies, and I'm in Suriname. My one tip is that when you reply quickly back to people, wherever you are, you're building connections. And even if you're in a cool place like in Suriname, South America, you're showing that you care and you're showing that you're available. The most successful people I know reply back really quickly, even if it's in the middle of the night or in some weird place like where I am right now. My name is Kass, I'm the founder and CEO of Solutions 8, and what works for my agency has always been niching down. Pick a specific product niche or industry niche and go deep and narrow instead of broad and shallow. Hey, what's going on? Jeff Miller here with Agency Scaling Secrets, and here's something that's working for us right here, right now. When we say Facebook, you figure it out, we often get 20 to 30% better bang for the book than if we told Facebook what to do. And that means all of our campaigns right here, right now, are targeting everyone in the United States with no age, no interest, no audiences, no targeting at all whatsoever. Just a simple dynamic campaign with three creatives and saying, Facebook, go for it. Hey, this is Peter Sabo, founder of Lead Evo, a marketing agency. And really the number one thing that's helped us and our clients like get that breakthrough from wherever they were to seven figures was creating an irresistible offer. Russell Brunson talks about it. Tony Robbins talks about it. He, he said too, like he noticed the pattern with all these businesses he worked, the number one difference is they cracked the code on the offer. They figured out what people really wanted to buy and they figured out a way to present it in a way, the pricing, the risk reversal, the, the package that essentially people felt stupid saying no to it. It was such a good offer. So when you figure such an offer out for your business, that's when everything becomes easier. The marketing starts to fall into place. The sales becomes easier, et cetera, et cetera. So number one, figure out an irresistible offer because that's the key to start making six and seven figures. Hope that helps. Hey, I'm Brittany. I'm the CEO at 51 Blocks. We're a multi-million dollar white label company. Something that has helped us be successful in our space and definitely probably my number one tip, be addicted to getting 1% better every chance that you get and spread that through your company culture. So having a team on my end that is willing to sit and participate in innovation, looking at every single roadblock cancellation, anything that we would traditionally probably consider to be a bad experience or something that can get us down, they look at it like an amazing challenge and how can we implement and do things a lot better the next time around. So I would say as my number one tip, get addicted to getting 1% better and look at it through that lens versus looking at challenges through something hard. I'm Jonathan with Whitebeard Strategies and the biggest key to my success, to my company's success, has been creating topical authority online so that we're seen as the go-to expert. It has made more difference than anything else that we've done. Create that content, answer your customers' questions and become the authority, the expert that they wanna talk to. It works. Hey, I'm Chris from Smart Author Media. We are an advertising agency for business owners with books who want to generate leads and turn those book leads into back-end buyers. 
So my tip for you today is if you want to get really well known as an expert uh, industry provider, then I highly recommend you either start a podcast yourself um, branded to what you do and have as many different service providers in that industry as possible on your pod- podcast so that they know what you do and they can share what you do to the world. I would say that it's beneficial for you to also uh, set up referral relationships with every single person you have on the podcast and that will very quickly get you well known in the space. And beyond that, if you don't want to start a podcast, go jump on as many podcasts in your industry as possible. And trust me, it will be the best relationship building tool that you do um, with other service providers who are either complimentary or even a slightly little bit competitive. You'll thank me later. What's up, guys? This is Chuck from Inspire Digital, and we are a local marketing agency out in Bakersfield, California. And what I have found uh, that has worked best to grow my agency has been outsourcing and delegating. So and rather than trying to spend a bunch of time in the weeds and uh, doing the manual labor myself, finding uh, people you know, over, either overseas or even here locally that are trustworthy and have good work ethic and then teaching them the skills that they need uh, in order to accomplish the tasks uh, that we do for our clients, which is everything from uh, web hosting on private servers, website development, SEO, Google Ads. Uh, those are kind of our primary focus. And those things can all be done remotely. Um, so by, you know, by enabling other people to do these things for me, it frees up my time to sell more stuff. My biggest, most successful customer acquisition lever so far was to do less, less uh, stuff for fewer clients. To all other clients which do not fit in my um, target audience frame, I just say no today. I once catched up the idea of defining your target audience with the word why, um, only. I work only with and for, in my case, it's um, Google Ads dependent, high ad spend companies in the German speaking area of the world. I say no to all others um, nowadays. This was very frightening in the beginning, Um, but it started to pay off fast because I got known for doing that one thing only and in a in a better way. Because when you do only one thing, you get better without it's it's inevitable. So now today uh, it helps me a lot, even if the transition was frightening. Maybe it can help others the best you test. Good luck. Hey everyone, Brad Ferris from Agency Growth Team and Clinic Grower. What's working for us right now? Honestly, I think all of you just need to get off of your ads, get off of your asses and get out there and be seen. The number one thing that I've put a huge push on for I would say the latter half of this year is getting on podcasts, getting in front of clients, getting in front of prospects working those relationships, going to events, asking your existing clients for referrals, asking them for who you can partner with, asking for their strategic partnerships. Who are their vendors? Who are the people that they're in business with? You've got to be everywhere. And I think that we all just in the digital age get really comfortable with being in our computer behind a screen, doing obviously amazing things from there. But my number one piece of advice is get out there, shake hands, get there and be known, I think we're all talking about Mustache Man at times, and what is he doing? He's out there doing tons and tons of content, being seen everywhere. I think it's a great example for each one of us to focus and say, hey, how do we get these brands out there more? It's going to be making sure that we put a push on. So go get it. Hey, it's Chris from Detailers Roadmap and 8-Bit Creative. Uh, And I was asked, you know, what would be a key to the success that we've had and how we've been able to grow so fast and so quickly, launching hundreds and hundreds of sites um, a year. And the biggest thing I've found that has helped me is to really um, strategize and SOP every single piece of what we do and get extremely refined um, to the point where if somebody came to us for something outside of our niche, we almost don't know what to do. But <clears throat> because we're so niche heavy and our process is so specific and we can get information from customers so easily now and we get it all up and turned and running is that that allows for scale. 
And then probably the next biggest piece I would always say is let people grow with you. And what I mean by that is if you can start them at services like a website and you can show just even decent results there, you naturally get inclined to try other services. And that's my tip. Thanks. Hey guys, so my name is Christian with Zoom Agency. Um, we're a white label web development and B2B lead generation company. And I wanna say that what's working for us most right now is just having as many at bats as possible, having as many as conversations as possible. And there's two things that's gonna happen when you have conversations. One, you're gonna learn more about your market. Maybe you're not gonna close the deal, but you're gonna learn more about your market and improve your offer. And best case scenario, you make and close some deals. Um, so my advice would be to just have as many at bats, as conversations, sales calls, whatever you're gonna call them, uh, emails, whatever, conversations at bats, as many as possible, and you'll be successful. Hey, what's up, Frankie? Corey Vandenberg here, uh, doing a video for my friend Frankie. Uh, my agency's name is Clixie, and I am here in beautiful Las Vegas, where we just finished up a corporate workshop with all of our executive team, and also had our uh, COO and his lovely bride get married last night. Uh, I wanted to give an answer to the question Frankie asked me, which is just one thing that's working right now for me. And I'm a big believer in evergreen skills, things that never ever go out of style or stop working. Technology is always changing and in the agency space, that's our reality. However, there are certain things like being able to sell, being able to persuade, uh, being able to articulate a point and really be able to encapsulate an idea and convey that with power and authority and value to a prospect. Um, so those are all evergreen ideas. And the one thing that's really working well for us is finding building relationships with channel partners. I can't stress enough how integral that's been to the success of Clixie. Uh, we work uh, with many law firms across the US and many of the top lawyers who have uh, very successful practices uh, up in well into the 50 to $200 million range. And uh, there is no better marketing. There's no keyword I can rank for. There's no video I can make that is better marketing than going out and making their business successful so that others can see, oh, you work with him and his marketing is amazing and you've made them successful. You've been able to get them cases. So remember that sometimes it isn't about the clever headline or um, you know, the tactics. It's oftentimes the doing, doing it well, perfecting your, your craft and doing it so that others can see that it isn't just fluff and and bluster, but reality, and that you can actually achieve what you say you can do. Hey, this is Kyle with Case Engine. One thing that's worked for us is tracking with our clients a precise return on investment. So we meet with them regularly and essentially see how many clients they signed up that month and then divide it by our, our retainer and see what their cost per acquisition is through our efforts. Uh, this has helped us out a lot and it could help you out as well. Hey, what's up? It's Dave Miz from the email experience. So one thing that's helped us get to the next level is getting people's attention on social media. You know, these days it's so difficult. Uh, markets are, you know, completely saturated. It's very competitive out there. So what I do differently is I get people's attention, not by posting content like everybody else is doing. I get it by posting memes. So what I do is the same idea that Coca-Cola does. They repeat the same messages over and over again in every single commercial. And so you're getting marketed to in a way without even realizing. And I do the same thing with memes. Uh, I'm posting memes with a specific message that I'm trying to convey to my audience. And I'm doing this over and over again. And what's happening is they're, they're loving it. They, they don't realize that they're getting marketed to because it's a very funny type of message. And so what happens is people are liking the post. They, they engage, they laugh, et cetera. But most importantly, important is they blow up your DMs. And sometimes you don't see that on the face from the social media posts. Maybe there's a few comments and likes, but your DMs will blow up. Hey, Dave here with Claire One. 
We do social media content marketing and brand development. Uh, when I first got started, uh, I was taking any client and every client I possibly could that was willing to pay. That ended up being a lot of custom work for bottom dollar. But once I actually sat down and developed my own brand and identified my ideal client and really focused on trying to attract only those clients, that got me to higher paying contracts, better clients. Uh, life has been a whole lot easier. And since I'm trying to raise five kids with two baby twins, I don't have a lot of time to spend on this stuff. So anything that makes my life easier is definitely a good thing. And so if you can really focus in on who your ideal client is, you're gonna be far better off. Hey everyone, name is David Schloss here with Convert ROI, owner and president of the company. Been in business for 16 years. The biggest thing that has worked for us over the years has really just been dollar a day, right? So we spend about a dollar a day on various content that we are promoting, not only for ourselves, but sometimes for our clients as well. And we simply just put out our best stuff, right? We put out case studies, we put out testimonials, we put out educational content, quick and little easy bite-sized stuff that we find could be beneficial to people. And and just doing that, you can think about it, you know, you can have four or five categories of content each at a dollar a day, you're spending four or five dollars a day. It's really not that much, about a cup of coffee that you're spending on ads every day. But what ends up happening is you build brand awareness and you end up being in front of people top of mind constantly. So when it comes to the time when they may need your services, they end up contacting you because they remember your face and or your business popping up in their feed constantly. So I would recommend highly doing that. Hey, this is Jason Kanigan, the founder of Cold Star Technologies. We're primarily a space and defense firm, but uh, we do those are our prestige clients. We do a lot of work for agencies as well, particularly on the processes, systems, and conversion side of things. Okay, we're not traffic people. So one of the things that's worked really well for us is this, the Cold Star Project. Uh, it is a podcast. We're at 230 plus episodes now, and it has enabled me specifically to reach out and connect with, develop my network, space and defense officials, business owners, academics, all kinds of people, subject matter experts, right, in a way that I never would be able to with just standard door knocking. So the beauty of this method is not only do you get the time with them, but I guarantee you, you're going to get at least an extra half hour to hour, maybe more, like market intelligence, relationship developing and that, and this stuff pays off. There's a network effect to it. It's a knock-on effect, right? When you first start, nobody knows who you are, but when you got a hundred mutual connections, they simply say, yes, let's talk. So. Very, very cool. I highly recommend having a podcast for you and your niche. Hey, Frank, you wanted a video on agency owners, tips for success. And one of the things that's worked the best for me is creating content on a consistent calendar. And one thing we do is we do a webinar every single month. We've done it for about four years now. And when we create the webinar, we promote it about two weeks in advance. Hey, coming up in two weeks, we're going to teach you how to do SEO for your law firm. In two weeks, we're going to teach you all about artificial intelligence for your law firm. And that email goes out with a two-week notice. The day the email goes out, we stack it in LinkedIn, my personal LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Then about a week out, hey, you know, don't miss this webinar. We're going to teach you blah, blah, blah. And then the day before, don't miss this webinar. Tomorrow, we're going to teach you all about, you know, personal injury strategies to build your law firm. And then the post, we also do a post if you miss this webinar, you know, don't miss it. Here's the replay. And again, every time the email goes out, we stack it in the social media. Now that's kind of like a baseline of content. We then take the video and we post it on YouTube. We have over 200,000 views of those videos on YouTube. We also take the video and we repurpose the content. So we craft shorter videos with some of the little sound bites of some of the best content from that video. And we turn that into social media videos that we repurpose as well. So the short moral of the story, calendarize your content, create it on a regular basis, and then you can cascade it, what we call it, cascade it down to other social media. Use it in multiple different ways. Good luck crushing it with cascaded, calendarized content. What's up, guys? JC Hyde from Hyde Digital. Uh, we're a full, uh, full-scale full uh, digital marketing agency. We are not niched down. Several hundred clients, uh, several million in revenue, 150, I think, employees in all just in our digital marketing agency side. And uh, one thing that's, I think, really helped us scale 
is the foundation that we build. So I think one of the things that a lot of agencies do wrong is they go out and they hire, you know, VAs that may have experience, may not have experience. Like we were really, really picky with our first 50 team members and they all had, we're talking three, four, five years of experience in the digital marketing world or in selling digital marketing services or in SEO or in whatever, but like, really verifying and making sure that not only did they have experience, they were well-loved uh, at the agency they came from, they were getting promotions, they were moving up, like they had opportunities. Um, and so uh, for us, I think really focusing on bringing in the top talent that we knew had the experience was been one of our biggest uh, benefits. So anyways, hope all is well with each of you. See you guys. Hey, I'm Jeff J. Hunter, AKA the Savage Marketer, and I own quite a few agencies, but they serve the same market. And that's actually my advice. Uh, and one thing that I've really learned throughout the years of doing this is 10 years now, is to really focus in and understand your market. Um, I know exactly everything about my market. I know their pain points. I know what they want. I know, <laughs> I know everything about them. So really digging in and doing your due diligence on understanding your audience, especially now with the use of AI, you can dig even deeper. Like I know that I have a lot of, you know, uh, money rich, but time poor, uh, business owners are my clients. I know that they value reliability, loyalty, ownership, accountability over freelancers. I know that they've usually tried freelancers and they've gotten some mixed results, but ultimately they fade away and they don't have that reliability. I know so much about my audience and because of that, I'm able to have really good marketing messages. I'm able to position my products really well and the same goes for the companies that I do marketing for is really understanding the audience. So that's my one piece of advice is know your audience really well, better than five times better than you think you know them now, because you probably think that you know them well right now. Hi, I'm Karen Hyde from Hyde Digital. We are a full digital marketing agency. We started as a white label, then turned into a franchise model. We are not niche down and, and we serve many locations in the US. And I would say the one thing that has worked really great for us has been creating amazing experiences and events for our teams, our clients, and our clients' clients. So um, through events and different sizes of events, we have learned so much about understanding people's needs to build relationships in a deeper way and to be able to, from these relationships that are being built, to just have long lasting opportunities for growth. Um, with our teams, we've been able to like just create an amazing experience and culture, um, and that has carried out to how we serve our clients um, in, in every way. So I think events have been really impactful for us. Hi, I'm Lana from On Top Digital. And today um, I want to share with you the incredible impact Frankie made on our agency. Um, Frankie's mentorship has helped us to improve our recruitment process. Uh, we are currently hiring top talent like A players for um, penny on a dollar really cost effectively both the recruitment process and how much we pay to our people, which makes our margins very healthy. Um, another thing is that like realistically, I can now sell in my pajamas and be very relaxed or be on the go and still do the sales. So I can do that via text message. Uh, there's heaps of other things like his mindset training is very different from every other coach out there and I find it very valuable like I learned zillion things and I think because of that mindset training I'm still kind of in the game so it's been an incredible journey with Frankie and we highly highly appreciate him hey guys Louis Vandervoort here owner of Blue Crocus Solutions out of New Brunswick Canada and I want to share with you a couple things that have helped us not only land clients, but retain them. And they're kind of both related. So one of the ways that we lead with value up front is we'll do an audit of their site before they come on as a client. Now, not just a generic report, but we're actually diving in. We're giving them some actionable stuff. We're kind of laying out the blueprint on a video to them, a Loom video, whatever you use for, for screen recording. We're going to go through and say, hey, boom, 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 boom. You got to be hitting all these things. 
and then we'll say, hey, take it back to your marketing team, or you can reach out to us and do it. So that's been phenomenal for us for lead generation, building that trust and that value up front. Um, and then on the back end of that, once they become a client, continuing to lead with that value and continuing to not only provide the SEO services, which is our main service, but give them extra value, give them tips like, hey, you know, you should be doing this with your marketing, et cetera, et cetera, to really give them value outside of the SEO services and communicating with them. You can have subpar results. I've seen this with several agencies. They can have subpar results, but if they show their clients that they care continually, you can retain clients a lot longer. So hope that helps and keep on rocking out there. I'm Mark Kelly with Inbound Revenue and what's made a huge difference for us is productizing our services. When I say productizing our services, what I mean is we've determined exactly what we're going to deliver and how we're going to deliver it, what tools we're gonna to use and then who we're gonna market that to. This allows us to offer a very high quality marketing service to small and medium sized businesses who probably can't afford custom marketing. It also allows us to train our team, to have processes and to scale. So productizing our services has been magic that uh, we found here at Inbound Revenue that serves both our clients and Inbound Revenue. Hopefully that's helpful. It's Matt Coffey. I'm the owner of Practice Bloom. We're a medical marketing company that's out of New Jersey. One thing that's helped me is to stop being a big pussy and start putting real ad spend in. Uh, I 10 x to my ad spend, so I went from um, $100 a day to $1,000 a day, and that changed my whole business. It doubled everything up instantly. And what I learned from that really quickly was that I could test ads really quickly and find out what worked and what didn't work. I could get a lot of leads in one day more than I could get in a week. Uh, and I could fill my calendar really quickly. So I'd end up turning them off after a while. But what it did is it got the algorithm to appreciate me and to give me lots of conversions and give me the thought process of saying, oh yeah, we're a player. So you better put my ads in rotation. And then it all changed. Hey guys, Matt McQuinn here. One of the big things that changed my business when we first got started was cold email. We created an ideal customer profile for our business that we thought was gonna work and then we made about 10 more. And then we just tested them all. We sent cold emails to everybody. We had a really no-brainer offer. We were giving things away and we got responses. And that's how we got our first 30 customers for Coldlytics. We're a data provider. Um, we serve about 80% of our business as marketing agencies and the rest are, are sales teams in many different industries. Um, so. That's a little bit about how we got off the ground and we got going and many businesses and many other industries like yourself can take this and run with it. Um, you don't have to overthink cold email. Just getting started is the hardest part. So go out there, find your ideal customers, create a list of them, get an email list together, send those cold emails out and hopefully you'll get some traction. If not, you'll learn something in the process that you can use next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Matt Thibault from Savant Marketing Agency, and I would say probably the biggest breakthrough that we've had in our business was creating a Facebook group uh, to source our leads from. It's really important that you have a defined sales process in your marketing agency and a way to nurture leads and warm them up to who you are so that you can get them on the call and be able to acquire them as a client. Hi, my name's Nathan Hirsch, and I'm with Accounts Balance. And the one thing that's helped my business partner, Connor, and I, for the past six years, we've been running a monthly finance meeting. We get our books from our bookkeeper between the 10th and the 15th every month. And on our calendar is that monthly finance meeting. We do not miss it for any reason. We go through our income statement, our balance sheet, our cash flow statement. We compare this month to the same month last year, and we go line by line. For example, expenses. We go through software. We see, is there anything that we can pay yearly and save money? Is there anything we can cancel that we're not using? And having this monthly finance meeting has been the key to not only our growth, but being able to sell a business a few years ago as well and really knowing our numbers. It's at this meeting that we make all decisions for our business. We don't make it off a of gut or instinct. We make it based on going through our numbers during this monthly finance meeting. Hey, everybody. It's Nathan Zadwarney with Woodshed Digital Marketing. And if there's one thing that I've learned over the years, it is that good people are worth waiting for. I know it's really, really easy to get money hungry, especially if you're starting out in your journey or even in the first couple of years of your journey. But trust me, do not waste your time and energy with people who start to treat you like a servant 
who treat you poorly, who talk down to you, or don't keep their promises. The good people, the people you want to keep around in business and in life are really worth waiting for. Hey friends, it's Rebecca with Million Dollar Dojo. And the biggest thing that we did in our agency to absolutely change my life is we went from a done for you agency and all of the stress that that brings and we turned it into a licensing servicing agency uh, where we get paid more and we do less and we have our time back and our freedom back and we're not slaves to clients. Um, what that means is we took all of our stuff or our IP and we just shared it with our industry and basically we rent it out every single month. So they pay us a recurring income to have access to these things. And if they ever want to leave the program, that's no problem. We just take away our stuff and they exit. That's no problem. But because our stuff is bringing income and customers and cash flow into their business, they actually stick with us a really long time. So I hope this help with, helped you. This is the best thing that we have done in my agency. Hey there, this is Ross Walker with Three Step Marketing. I want to share something really quick in our business. One thing that has absolutely been a game changer is well-documented systems and processes. Once you know what you're doing, you write it down, you make it repeatable, and you get it off your plate. You do that, you are bound for growth. Hey, my name's Ryan, and my agency is called Ryan Does Marketing. And the thing I want to share with you today, the thing that's helped me the most with growing my agency, is the day that I realized that there's no connection between how smart you are and how much you know to how much money you make. There's no connection. It's all about taking action. The day that I realized that and I put the books down and started getting stuff done was the day that I started getting more customers and my agency started growing. Hey, my name is Ryan Doyle of sales.co, a B2B lead gen agency using cold email. And I think one thing that's really got us to the next level is solid dev skills at the founder level. I say that because it's something I've not really seen and it allows us to use really basic off-the-shelf tools where we can manage our entire business, mostly by the code that we've written to connect these tools instead of spending a lot of money on different built-for-purpose enterprise applications. Um, the money savings that have come from it, the amount of hires that we've had to make uh, is a lot fewer because of the things that we build and the just confidence knowing that wherever this business goes, we can build what we need to build has been the biggest unlock I think that we've seen. Hey, this is Sam from coachingemails.com. And one thing that's working re really well for us right now is using Loom videos to uh, sign new clients. So instead of using, you know, the traditional and annoying uh, sales call or webinar, we simply send the um, potential client a Loom video, which pre-sells um, our offer and what we do, um, shows them the plan that we follow to fix their problem, handles their objections, lets them know the price, all that good stuff. So if they are interested and they qualify, when we do hop on a call, it's only you know a 15 minute conversation rather than 45 minutes to an hour. And then they say, oh no, sorry, I can't afford it. So yeah, give it a go. Hey, what's up? My name is Scott. I run an agency out of Canada called Lemonade Stand where we help mortgage brokers and loan officers grow their businesses. One thing that's working really well for us right now is staying away from copycat offers. So I know there's a lot of people out there right now doing Facebook and Instagram ads for loan officers and mortgage brokers. What we've done is we completely cut that off and transitioned over to YouTube ads. There's way less competition. And when we mention that we're doing something unique, something different on YouTube, the clients or the potential clients eyes open up. They're more welcome to a conversation. It's a lot easier to close clients because we're not doing the same thing that everybody's doing with these massive guarantees. We're doing something totally unique and it's a lot easier to sell. It's a lot easier to fulfill. Um, so if you're in the market and it's sort of crowded, look at different options, look at what you can do differently. And that's really going to help you stand out and have more and better quality conversations. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Seth Brown with Surge Digital Marketing. We're based out of Charlotte, North Carolina, uh, tuning into you guys from beautiful Colorado Springs. But the number one thing that I would say, which is mainly directed towards those that, you know, are kind of getting started in the agency world or maybe have your feet under you a little bit, um, is focus on building the best possible relationship you can um, with the clients that you have and just the people that you interact with when it comes to putting your name out there and your personal brand out there, because um, you really only get one of those in your entire life. 
And that has served us extremely well in really one of the most important metrics that comes to the agency world, which is retention of clients and churn. Um, that's really helped us, and I would highly encourage you guys to do the same. Hey, this is Seth Price and Scout from Blue Shark Digital. Uh, we are an SEO company focusing on the legal industry based in Washington, D.C. I'd say the number one thing that's helped us get to the next level has been in implementing EOS, not just at the management team level, but through each department throughout the organization. It's uh, helped us continue to row in the same direction, uh, increase focus, and help people focus on what the big rocks are for each quarter rather than just answering emails and getting through the day. Hey, shout out to Frankie Finn for making this and trying to help out as many people as possible. He's been a big help to me, and I hope this compilation of videos is really helpful to you. So I wanted to drop in and say that one of the biggest things that has helped me is understand that we are problem solvers in this agency world. I think a lot of people, when they hop on sales calls or even when they're dealing with marketing, like I have really big on sales, uh, millions of dollars in sales uh, sold, and a lot of times people hop on these calls and they try to value stack, like just give them a bunch of things and tell them how great their service is, how many leads they can get, how much money they make. We are problem solvers. Find out their problems. Find out what's the value of solving that problem. And also understand the opportunity cost associated with them not fixing their problem. From there, you can present yourself as a solution. All right? Once you've presented yourself as a solution, then you can start to prepare, uh, properly assess, give them close or give them price because you've made that gap fill. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Remember, we are problem solvers, not just service providers. Hey, this is Michael Mogul. I'm the founder and CEO of Crisp. We are the nation's number one law firm growth company. And one thing that's worked for us over the years, far and above everything else, has been the power of brand. And if I could go back, I wish I would have started investing in this sooner. I know sometimes people throw this around as a buzzword of what, what does brand really mean. But brand is your reputation. Brand is what allows you to decommoditize and differentiate. And how do you build brand? Well, it's by, cre well, number one, I think creating unique content and putting that out there that's truly valuable to people. Maybe you write a book. Maybe you put out a podcast. Maybe you're creating you know, a great event. We have the, the Game Changers Summit. It's an annual conference that we host every single year. So it's finding ways to differentiate yourself beyond the services that you provide and really investing in those and doing so at a high level. So I think that at the end of the day, brand is everything. It is the reason why people buy Apple products versus you know, an, an iPhones over any other types of phones. Um, it is the reason why people pay you know, $100 for a Nike shirt versus a, you know, a plain shirt. Um, brand allows you to differentiate and decommoditize. It is the experience that you provide. It is what people associate with you and what they think when you're not in the room. That is the power of brand. What's up, guys? My name is Frankie Finn. If you're subscribed to this channel already, you know who I am. And uh, I'll tell you, our biggest thing that's worked for us is getting away from physical, real-world selling that has been predominant for like 100 years and instead making digital versions of ourselves the best performing salespeople. So we sell a lot of one to $10,000 a month services through Loom videos. I've taught this process every day. I hear about somebody new uh, selling stuff through Loom videos. By the way, you can find that free training on our channel. If you search for Loom videos, you'll find how to actually do it yourself. But this is a big fundamental shift because if your acquisition process requires you, the owner, to do all the heavy lifting, then you're always going to be tied to your agency business. But if you switch to having digital you be the hardest working salesperson and you have more of your content and videos and things like that and articles and things like that do the pre-selling for you, what happens is you can bring people to you who are basically 80, 90, 100% pre-sold, almost layups where you can have almost anybody do the closing for you. And then what happens is this allows you to be at the beach. I've noticed that digital me is a 24 seven beast, sells all the time. We get millions of views around the clock and, uh, and I can be sleeping and hanging with my kids and digital me is still pre-selling people on different things. And so I think it's a big fundamental shift that you can make in your agency, get away from all the stuff everybody teaches, the cold outreach and things like that. It's a little bit more upfront work, but man, the results are so long lasting and it makes it so leveraged that you can be basically doing anything. And that's the power of the internet is you can have your stuff being sold around the clock. So I hope you enjoyed this compilation video. We got some real amazing heavy hitters and I wanna thank everybody who's been part of it. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Hey guys.
guys, if you like this video, you'll probably also like our free Facebook group, Beyond Agency Profits, Agency Lifestyle Design. Uh, you can get free copies of the book inside here. It's, I look ridiculous. We're doing weekly Q&As, giving answers to all your questions. Some of the best, smartest, brightest people. We've got lots of industry leaders doing seven, eight figures and beyond. It's a literal who's who of the brightest uh, agency owners that I know, as well as lots of tips on scaling and stuff, books that work. So if you're not already part of it, uh, you're going to want to be part of it. So make sure to click the link. I put it in the description of the video, as well as in the pinned top comment below. So just scroll down and you can join and it's totally free.